of course, as you know as well as I do, that the, the FBI cannot censor American speech. It talks about abridging speech, that our First Amendment does. At one time, I think it was during your tenure, the FBI had 80 FBI agents working with social media, uh, encouraging social media to take down accounts and remove, quote, disinformation and election interference. Um, a district court uh, found that the FBI and other agencies asked social media platforms to remove content and to change their moderation policies in a way that violated the First Amendment. And it went up to the Fifth Circuit. The Fifth Circuit limited the injunction, but here's what the Fifth Circuit said. The FBI, quote, likely coerced the platforms into moderating content and encouraged them to do so by effecting changes in their moderation policies, end quote, in violation of the First Amendment. The FBI agreed with the plaintiffs that, quote, I'm quoting the Fed Fifth Circuit, federal, agencies federal agents ran afoul of the First Amendment by coercing and significantly encouraging social media platforms to censor disfavored speech including by threats of adverse government action, like antitrust enforcement and legal reforms. That's serious. Is the Fifth Circuit wrong? Well, as you may know, uh, first off, let me just say, the opinions talk about a whole bunch of other executive agencies besides the FBI, and, and I'm not going to speak to what the other agencies did or didn't do. But well, it's you weren't the, the only one. It but, was the White uh, House. But it just, was Homeland Security. But, 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 but your folks were there, too, all 80 of them, 80 agents. Well, but Combing social media every day, calling Twitter, calling Facebook, take that down. Get rid of that account. And it wasn't just on election interference. It was on COVID vaccines. It was on lockdowns. So a couple things, uh, and I appreciate the opportunity to clarify this. So first, on things like COVID vaccines and stuff like that, uh, the FBI had no role in telling anybody to take anything down. Uh, in fact, as you may know, the FBI was the only agency back at that time and the only agency in the entire intelligence community to reach the, con the conclusion to moderate confidence that uh, the origins of the pandemic were most likely a lab leak uh, in China. We were the only agency, uh, so we most certainly were not <laughs> encouraging anybody uh, to uh, communicate differently on that. Second, even on the topics we did communicate with social media companies about, from everything I've seen, we in fact did not instruct anybody to take uh, that information down. As to the Fifth Circuit's opinion, as to the Fifth Circuit's opinion, uh, as you may also know, uh, we actually hotly contest uh, a lot of the findings uh, and, and not just the legal conclusions, but the actual factual findings uh, and have uh, the department has sought Supreme Court review, asked them to vacate the injunction. The Supreme Court's not only vacated the injunction, but uh, granted cert. So I probably should Let leave it at that. Let me stop you a second. I've gone way over. I want to ask you one last question. We had, an, we, we had a controversy during the election about Mr. Hunter Biden's, Biden's laptop. And at that time, you had 80 agents interfacing with social media, doing whatever they were meeting, doing. Um, the FBI had the Hunter Biden laptop, on, got it on December 9th, 2019. The, the New York Post story which, which a lot of the social media companies at the, at the suggestion of government took down. The story came out on 10-14, 2020. Why didn't the FBI just say, hey, the, 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 the laptop's real? Why didn't you just tell everybody the laptop's real? We're not vouching for what's on it, but it's real. This isn't a, 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 a fiction. 
Well, I, I, as you might imagine, the FBI cannot, especially in a time like that, be talking about an ongoing investigation. Second, I would tell you that at least my understanding is that both the FBI folks involved in the conversations and the Twitter folks involved in the conversations both say that the FBI did not direct Twitter to uh, suppress. But that others were story. in government. Well, I can't, again, I can't speak to others in government. Now, that's part of the point that I was trying to make because the Fifth yes, Circuit's sir, but opinion. But you're the FBI. You're not part of the White House and part of Homeland Security. You're not supposed to be political. You see all this controversy going on. Why didn't the FBI say, time out, folks. We're not getting in the middle of this, but the laptop's real. Again, we have to be very careful about what we can say, especially in the middle of uh, an election season because that's precisely some of the problems that led to my predecessors' uh, uh, negative findings from the Inspector General. Did you hear a gavel? Thank you, Senator I heard Kennedy. A gavel. Thank you, Senator.